What is up everybody? It is me, Real American, back again with a new type of video on this channel. So as everybody knows, I love doing politics video, I love politics, but I kind of want to take a step back from politics just for now because, quite frankly, nothing's happening in politics and I want to convert this channel more so from just politics to both politics and sports. I know that may seem cursed, but <clears throat> I've always wanted to do both. And yes, this is the start of sports on this channel. Now, I'm not going to become a full-on sports channel, but, you know, once or twice a week I'll make a sports video. But I'll still keep most of my other videos. I'm starting a podcast on sports with some other people. So I wanted to start some sports videos with a monthly power ranking of the NFL. So this is going to be based on the current offseason, based on last year, all that good stuff, all the rumors, all of that. And using my adjusted model for teams overall, which I'll talk about later. I'm still working on it, but you get the point. So this is how the power rank is going to work. One through five are the five best teams. They're Super Bowl contenders, top five teams in the NFL, five through ten, borderline Super Bowl, more so AFC slash NFC championship contenders, 10 through 20, playoff contenders, borderline-ish, 20 to 25 below average, 25 to 32, essentially the garbage teams, the complete horse crap of the league. And this will also account for salary cap, teams' future draft picks, and all that good stuff. The reason I'm accounting draft picks is because that's kind of, kind of a good way to gouge how a team could potentially improve. So, it counts all of that salary cap, draft capital, all that stuff, and yes. So, let's get right into it. So, the first team is the Tennessee Titans, and this is a team where if they had a defense, they would be 1-5. through five. I mean, I thought they would have had a defense if it was the Jadavion Clowney. I thought they had Jadavion Clowney, they were going to be a top 5 defense. They kind of fell off a cliff for defensive-wise. But they still have one, if not the best, running back in the NFL, Derrick Henry. So this team is 5-10, to 10, probably the 8th or ninth best team in the NFL, maybe 6. It's one of those teams that's borderline pretty good. Now, Miami Dolphins. This was one of the bigger surprises last year. Tua proved himself as a competent quarterback. There's been some trade rumors going around. They have a lot of cap room. Their defense has shocked a lot of people. I mean, defensively. They're a fairly good squad. Now, not like the best squad in the NFL, but according to my model, they're on the 8th or ninth best defense in the entirety of the NFL. So they are a decent enough squad where if they can just get a more consistent passing attack, more consistent running attack, all that good stuff on offense, they would be 5-10. to 10. But as of now, especially with the draft capital, they're borderline 5-10. to 10. They're probably 11th or 12th best team. I mean, for Pete's sake... They went 10-6, and, and they have a top three pick. Remember that, the Lar Larry Tunsil trade? Yeah, the Texans had third overall pick. Dolphins have that pick now. And they have the fourth pick in the second round. So this is a pretty big win for the Texans overall, or the Dolphins. The Texans are kind of screwed. And we're going to get to them in a little bit. But Dolphins have an extremely bright future, a lot of draft capital, and they look pretty solid for the future. Now for the Browns, 5-10, to 10, they're better than Titans. The reason that the Browns are better than Titans is both, they got a bit more cap room to work with, and, they're not, and they really have a better overall team. Their defense is way better than Titans. The offense, it's debatable, but I would say the Titans have a slightly better offense, but the Browns definitely have the better defense. So they're probably the 6th to 7th best team in the NFL. They're barely better than the Titans just because of that defense. Now, the Jacksonville Jaguars, they're awful, but they're not the worst team in the NFL. I mean, you look at the teams that had injury issues, the Jaguars had some pretty bad issues. And overall, the Jaguars just were injured to hell, but they do have a lot of cap room this offseason. They have a lot of draft capital. They're going to get um, Trevor Lawrence. So, it's an absolute win for the Jaguars, and they got some decent picks this year. I mean, they got the first overall, they got the 25th overall from the Rams, and they got the 45th overall from the Vikings. So, they got some decent draft capital, and it's one of those teams where they're, for the future, they're pretty set. So, I'm going to say they're 29th to 30th team in the NFL. Again, this is accounting for salary cap, this is accounting for all that stuff. 
The Detroit Lions. They're better than the Jaguars, but because they actually have draft capital and they have a decent quarterback still, and they have a lot of cap room, and they got a new head coach that I like. Dan Campbell, he's a pretty good head coach hire. And this is a team that is going to be boom or bust, I believe, next year. If they can draft okay, get a decent offensive line, get some kind of defense, this is a team that could go either 7 or 9 to 9 and 7, which is pretty good for a team that's kind of rebuilding. So this is a team where, as of now, they really don't have much. But in the future, like this year, I could see them going 9 and 7 if they don't screw it up, right? And if Dan Campbell is actually a good head coach, which I do personally believe he will, He's a pretty good hire. So now the Minnesota Vikings, they're kind of screwed. Now, it may not seem bad on paper. Yes, they got Kirk Cousins. They got a decent offense, but their offensive line is awful and their defense fell off a cliff. So the Vikings are kind of in an iffy situation where eh, I will not want to be in the Vikings situation. But the Vikings still have a decent overall team. But they're just not there. If they can fix that defense and get some kind of offensive line, they would be right behind the Dolphins, probably. But as of now, they're probably the 20th best team in the NFL. They just got to get some kind of offensive line. Buccaneers, the best team in the NFL. No, no doubt about it. I mean, anybody that disputes that's nuts, but they are the best team in the NFL. San Francisco is kind of hard to gauge, but I do believe they are better than the Dolphins. I mean, you look at injuries, my God. I mean, the uh, the 49ers just got hammered with injuries. And really, the 49ers have one of the better overall teams in the NFL, but they just got to prove it this year. And I do believe they will. They still got Jimmy Garoppolo, who's coming off another injury. And the 49ers actually had one of the better defenses when you adjust the stats last year. So, you take that into account, this is a playoff contender, for sure, in one of the better um, divisions at NFC. So, I can see the 49ers making the wild card, but probably not division. They just had way too hard of a division, and they just kind of have to prove it, but they do have a decent future ahead of them. Uh, Falcons are the Falcons. <sighs> they're probably like the 26th best team in the NFL. They're behind the Lions. Well, I should say, yeah. They're behind the lines or like the 28th, 29th best team in the NFL. So they're not in a situation I would want to be in. I mean, the cap situation is awful. Matt Ryan wants out. Everybody wants out. You don't really have the best draft capital. You traded away a few of the picks in the later rounds in the future. So you're kind of in an iffy situation where, yeah, it's definitely not a situation I would want to be in. Um, Ravens are... Ah, <sighs> uh, the Ravens. They got Lamar Jackson. I think they're better They're better than the Dolphins, but not better than the 49ers. I do think that that division title from 2019 was a fluke. I mean, you got Lamar Jackson's peak right now. You're not getting much more out of him. He's good, but not best NFL player. So they're good, but I don't see them being like the number one team in the NFL. The reasoning is the defense is iffy. I mean, Lamar Jacks can only do so much. I mean, that playoff game, he did not perform well passing-wise. But he still ran the ball, so there's that. Um, Chicago Bears, they're the definition of mediocre. They got a mediocre quarterback in Mitchell Trubisky. They got okay defense. It used to be great. It kind of fell off a cliff. So it's one of those teams, though, they're still good on the defensive side of the ball, but nowhere near where they were. So they are just like... 16th, 17th, 18th best team in the NFL. Just complete average. Uh, Cincinnati Bengals, I'm going to say they're worse than the Jaguars. Yes, they had injury issues, but <sighs> they're a situation where if Joe Burrow is screwed, you're not going to win for a while. So they're the 30th, the 31st team in the NFL. They're not in a situation where I want to want to be in, but yeah. Uh, Dallas Cowboys... <sighs> I don't believe the hype. Guys, they're worse than the Vikings. They are not playoff contenders. Yes, you may say, oh, Dak Prescott got hurt. Even with Andy Dalton, you should have made the playoffs. But that division, and you couldn't even go 500, give me a break. I mean, yes, you had injuries, but that doesn't account for the garbage that happened. They should have, been five, they should have made the playoffs. They should have been 9-7. and seven. So, even with Andy Dalton, that's not really that big of a downgrade. That's like 
going from a good quarterback to an okay quarterback. That's not really the biggest jump because that Prescott's okay or good. Houston Texans, they're they're worse than the Bengals. Now that they lost J.J. Watt, they're going to lose just Sean Watson. They're not in a situation where you're good. I mean, for the next couple of years, you don't have draft picks for the top two rounds. I and mean, you lose your first and second this year. I believe you lose your second next year. It's not a situation where the Texans are good. They are screwed. They're going to lose to Sean Watson and just everything's falling to crap for them. Uh, the Colts, I do believe, are better than the 49ers. They're probably the 10th best team in the NFL, the 11th best team. They're a team where <clears throat> they're quarterback away, essentially. If they get a quarterback, you saw what happened. They went 11-5, I believe. So the Colts are there. They just need one quarterback, just a quarterback that's young and good. And I'm hearing they're going to possibly make a push for Deshaun Watson. So that could get interesting. If the Colts do that, they're instantly top five, probably. But as of now, they're borderline Super Bowl contenders, uh, division contenders. Los Angeles Rams, I would say they're the, probably the 10th best team in the NFL. They improved that quarterback slightly. Their draft capital is gone. They have no cap room. And they have a decent defense. That's essentially their situation. So, not the best, but, you know, better than it could be. Or worse, well, <laughs> better than... It could be, so yeah. Um, Chargers are probably, they're probably like the 20th best team in the NFL, 19th. I mean, they're not terrible. They got Justin Herbert, who's okay. I'm not like, okay, I should say great. But that defense is iffy, and the rest of the offense is just meh. But yeah, I think they're probably the 20th or 19th best team in the NFL. They got pieces, but they just got to build upon last year. I think you got to get um, Justin Herbert a bit more protection. If you can get some kind of defense again, you'll be set. Um, Kansas City Chiefs, they're probably the second best team in the NFL. Not much said, but last year may have been your best, your best chance of winning another Super Bowl. So, I don't know. The Chiefs are in a bad cap situation, but they're still overall the second best team in the NFL. Um, the Saints, uh, without Drew Brees, they're <clears throat> probably the ninth or 8th best team in the NFL. They still got a good rounded team. Taysom Hill is not terrible at quarterback or Jameis Winston. But it's just a situation where you don't have cap room. I, I don't really know what they're going to do. So, there's that. Um, New York Giants, they're interesting. Um, I should say they're probably worse than the Chargers. But they have really good defense. They are just, get a quarterback. You're in a very similar situation as the Colts. Get a quarterback in your top 10, probably. If Daniel Jones can continue to develop, you'll be set. Because that defense, pretty good. So, Giants have a good overall future, but could be a bit better if they had a quarterback. And yes. Um, Eagles, they're in a mess. They're in a complete just mess of situation. They're, they're probably the 25th best team in the NFL. They're not in a situation where I want to be in. They're not good. <laughs> Essentially, that's what it is. So, yes. Um, Steelers. Uh, I think they're probably like the fifth best team in the NFL. Biggest reason I say this is they're the Steelers. They have a great defense. Their offense is hit or miss. And Ben Roethlisberger may come back. So, you'll probably be like the fifth best team in the NFL. But still not where you should be. Considering you have that defense. But that's whatever. Um, Denver Broncos, ugh. I'm going to say that you're probably 20, 22nd best team in the NFL. I mean, you got Drew Locke and what else? I mean, your team should have competed last year, but because of injuries, you kind of got uh, rolled over. So I've given this team a little bit of leeway, but they got to prove themselves this year. Get some kind of... I don't know, an offensive line to help Drew Locke not get sacked every five seconds, and you'll be set. My Green Bay Packers, third best team in the NFL. Don't give me this garbage that they aren't. They are the third best team in the NFL. Um, Carolina Panthers. Ah, sheesh. Mm, I'm going to say they're worse than the Cowboys. I mean, this, I like where this team is going, but... I don't know. It's one of those situations where... The Panthers' rebuild looks good so far, but 
you're going to be average for a while. you got a decent quarterback in Teddy Bridgewater, but that's about it. He's more so a bridge quarterback, so that's that, essentially. Um, let's see here, the Raiders. Mm. Uh, this is going to be tricky. Oh, no. Where do you put the Raiders? Ugh. This is a team that's very hard to gauge. I think they are... They're better than the Bears, I believe. They're a bit better than the Bears. They're a bit better than the Chargers. A bit better than the Giants. But not better than the Dolphins. I mean, it's one... Ah, that's such a hard team to gauge. I mean... I... I don't really know with the Raiders. I mean, it's one of those teams, though, where they have some talent. Not going to deny that, but that defense is just awful. So, it's a team where I'm going to say they're probably, like, the 15th best team in the NFL. They're basically playoff contenders, but it's just hard to tell with that team. Um, The Washington football team, hmm, that defense is nasty. I'm going to put them ahead of the Dolphins, just because that defense... And if they can just get a quarterback, right, and just get, like, some average offense out there, you would be set. You just need something of an offense. But the Redskins or football team, whatever you want to call them, the Deadskins, whatever you want to call them, they are, they are borderline playoff contenders. They're probably going to win the AFC or the NFC East because the rest of the division is awful. So they're going to win the, re the division because... Everybody else is awful. Arizona Cardinals, they're better than the Raiders. I don't think they're better than the Dolphins overall. And yes, that is pretty much all the top 10 to 20 teams, I believe. If I did my math correctly, yes, it is. So these are the 10 to 20 teams. You get the point. These are like borderline playoff contenders. Now we have four more teams to build out. Uh, Buffalo Bills, they're the fourth best team in the NFL. That defense is decent. Josh Allen is developing amazingly. And they got a good overall team. Uh, the Seahawks, they are probably... Mm, they're probably better than the... Uh, I'm going to say they're worse than the Rams. Just because they have the issue with Russell Wilson. Uh, he's apparently not happy there. So, <laughs> the Seattle Seahawks are in an iffy situation where Russell Wilson is basically their entire team. You lose Wilson, your team just goes away, essentially. Um, the Jets... They're the worst team in the NFL. That was pathetic last year. That was absolutely just abysmal. So the Jets are the worst team in the NFL. No dispute. They have no future. They don't have a quarterback. They don't have an offense. They don't have a defense. They have nothing. Um, New England Patriots, they're probably better than the Cowboys, but that's about it. The Patriots dynasty's finally over. They're dead. It's a miracle, but... That's it. That is my current power rankings in the NFL. Currently, the best team is the Buccaneers, Chiefs, Packers, Bills, and Steelers. But this could change. Every month, I'm going to do a video on the power rankings currently. But yes, this is the current power rankings. And a lot of these teams, you could interchange, like the New York Giants, the Chargers, the Bears, the Raiders. You could kind of, like, interchange them with each other. They're borderline mediocrity. So that's that. Um, this is going to be interesting this offseason. I'm going to see if the Colts or Redskins can make some big moves. Or Dolphins. Or even Arizona Cardinals. These are four teams where they are one big move away from instantly jumping to the 5-10 through 10 area. They have very interesting futures. So do the Panthers. So do the Giants. Lions have extremely interesting future. And yes. But overall, this is my first power rankings. If you guys did enjoy, hit the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, and yes. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next live stream video or whatever. Thank you guys for watching.